Welcome to this video on an interesting problem from the Cambridge Assessment Admissions testing in 2019. Let's start by defining our function g of t for all t such that g of t cubed plus g of t equals t. We need to prove two things. One, that g of zero equals zero. Two, that the derivative of g with respect to t is greater than zero for all t. Finally, we will evaluate the integral from zero to two of g of t with respect to t. To prove that g of zero equals zero, we will let g of zero equal a. Then, substituting into our equation, we have a cubed plus a equals zero. This simplifies to a times the quantity a squared plus one equals zero. From this, we see that a equals zero is the only real solution since a squared plus one is greater than zero for all real a. Thus, we conclude that g of zero equals zero. Next, we will prove that the derivative of g with respect to t is greater than zero. Taking the derivative of both sides of our original equation, we see that the derivative of g with respect to t equals one divided by the quantity three times g of t squared plus one, which is greater than zero for all t because three times g of t squared plus one is always positive. Therefore, we conclude that the derivative of g with respect to t is greater than zero for all t. Using the fact that g of 2 equals b leads us to the equation b cubed plus b equals 2. This results in b cubed plus b minus 2 equals 0. Factoring yields the expression b minus 1 times the quantity b squared plus b plus 2 equals 0. Thus, B equals 1 is our only real solution. So G of 2 equals 1. Now let's evaluate the integral from 0 to 2 of G of t with respect to t. We can use the property of inverse functions here. Notice that the integral from 0 to 2 of g of t with respect to t plus the integral from 0 to 1 of the inverse of g with respect to t equals 2. Now substituting back, we can calculate the integral from 0 to 2 of g of t with respect to t equals 2 minus the integral from 0 to 1 of the derivative of the inverse of g with respect to t. The integral from 0 to 1 of the inverse of g with respect to t can be computed as follows. This equals the integral from 0 to 1 of the quantity t cubed plus t with respect to t equals 1 fourth times t to the fourth plus 1 half times t squared, evaluated from 0 to 1. This results in 1 fourth plus 1 half, which equals 3 fourths. Thus, we have the integral from 0 to 2 of g of t with respect to t equals 2 minus 3 fourths equals 5 fourths.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more problem solving videos.